Hi friends, I am so glad that you're here today. My name is Lauren and this month in eKids we are digging a little bit deeper. We are searching high and low for something that's more valuable than buried treasure. Do you know what it is? It's wisdom. And why is wisdom so valuable? Well, because it comes from God. There's lots of information in the world, but sometimes you have to dig a little bit deeper to find wisdom. And when we live the way that God wants us to live with his wisdom, we can make great choices and we can love others. So remember, you have to dig deep for wisdom. Whenever I need some answers, God, I turn to you. that you're chasing after me it makes me want to run to where you are God, you make this journey worth it I give you all my heart When I don't know what to do You help me figure it out God, I run to you When I need a solution I have no doubt One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then I take four paces this way. One, two. Oh. And you're telling me we'll find a treasure if we keep following this map? Yes, this is a treasure map. X marks the spot. X marks the spot. See? Yeah. See? Here. Here, help me move this. Okay. Where'd you find this treasure map anyway? Cereal box. Uh, 
three, four. Hand me a shovel. All right, here we go, ready? Ooh. Ah, yeah, broke through. Are you sure this is worth it? Uh, uh. X marks the spot. X marks the spot! You found it? You found the treasure? Yeah! Uh. 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 Just like the map said. <laughs> you so-and-so-ians, it's time for the so-and-so show. I'm Brandon. I'm John. And he's not well. You sick, buddy? Oh, I wish. You know what? I have to clean up my junk room today. Oh, wow. You mean that junk room? Yes, that junk room. I don't think I've ever even seen you go into the, that junk room. Yeah, well, probably because it's filled with old stuff I don't need, and it has its own creepy theme music. Old stuff? Yeah, you think there's something valuable in there? Yeah, it's old stuff, Brandon. Yeah, I Old, know. not new. Yeah, but I happen to know an old stuff specialist. Please welcome someone who knows old stuff. Did someone say ham? No, no, no one said ham. Oh, okay. No, no, wait, Leonard, we actually, we could use your help. Oh, Roddy Roo. <laughs> uh, Leonard, uh, just in case there's someone out there who hasn't met you, uh, who are you and what do you oh. know? <clears throat> Hello. My name is Leonard Fortescue, and I am a professional metal detectorist. I, I scour the beaches of the world and the random gas station parking lots with my trusty metal detector here, Camilla, searching for treasures long lost, forgotten, or dropped by distracted motorists. So you're an expert at finding and identifying old things that are valuable. <laughs> are you kidding? Take a gander at this right here. Isn't she pretty? That right there, my friends, is a genuine key to the lost city of Atlantis. I found it while I was metal detecting down in Panama City in Florida, not the one in Panama, the, the country. That's a pop top off of a soda can. They drink soda in Atlantis? Atlantis isn't real. The plot thickens. Leonard, I was wondering if you could help John out today. Oh, are you kidding? Anything for my best friend? All right, great. John has this room that's filled with old stuff that he doesn't think he oh, needs anymore. Oh, hold it! Wow! John, you're sitting on a gold mine! Wait, you, you found gold? You found gold? No! Camilla is a metal detector, not a gold detector. Gold is a metal. Mark. Oh! Wait, she's picking something up. Okay. Yeah, right, right here. Okay. Hang on. Let's see. <laughs> oh, got this weird thing. Yeah. Bird. And, yeah, that was. Oh, hang on. Okay. Hey, here we go. Okay. Look at this. A doorknob? No, you can put this doorknob on any door, and you'll never know what it'll open up to. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, see what else we can find. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. It's down here. Okay. Here. Hold, Camilla. Be oh. careful. All right. All right. Here. Here. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is crazy. What? Ah. What? 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 Is this? 
Look at that! An old cup and a spoon. No! It's a musical instrument. Okay, okay. Well, you know, treasure is all around us. Just gotta know where to look. All right, let's see. I think she's got something in it from big. Okay. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something right over here. Let's see. Oh. Hey, hang on. Okay. Whoa. You, you yeah, no, need help? I got it. No, no, no. Okay. <gasps> no. <gasps> it's a book. <gasps> and it's got words in it. Wait. Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's treasure. No, oh, this is my great great uncle's diary. Oh, you know what? I had that once. If you just eat a lot of bread, it'll go right away. No, diary. Oh. He supposedly traveled the globe in search of great recipes and wrote them all down, or at least that's what we'd always been told, but now I'm holding the book in my hands. <laughs> You're welcome. Cannot believe we found this. It's really incredible, John. Well, it looks like you're all right. Uh, old stuff can be valuable. Mm -hmm. Hey, I found a dead rat in here. I wonder how much this thing's worth. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. What is up, me compadres? Hey, check this out, Kellen. I found treasure in my own junk room. My uh, great great uncle's culinary diary. Dude, that is awesome. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, what have you got for us today? Well, I got a story about Jesus as a 12 year old learning in the Jerusalem temple. Learning? I thought Jesus was God. Didn't he already know everything? Well, Jesus was also human. So, he still had to learn. Oh, how does that work exactly? No clue. But it is one of my favorite stories. And we're going to tell it today with another edition of... Kids, Kids Detective. Detective! Okay. Every year, it was a tradition for Jesus' parents, Mary... Hi, I'm Mary. And Joseph. And I'm Joseph to travel to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. Jesus was also with them. Hey, I'm Jesus. I'm 12. Come along, son. You don't want to be late. Yes, sir. After the feast was over, Mary and Joseph left to go home. They were traveling with a big group of relatives, and they thought that Jesus was somewhere with them. But after a whole day on the road... Joseph? I have a funny feeling I left something back in Jerusalem. What did you leave, a bag or a shawl? I'm not sure, but... Wait, do you know where Jesus is? I thought he was with you. I thought he was with you. Look. Gasp. Maybe one of the other relatives saw him. I'll ask. Uncle, have you seen Jesus? Nope. Nephew, have you seen Jesus? Nah. Grandpa! Hey, let's stop right there. I think they get the idea. Oh, come on. I changed for nothing. So Mary and Joseph hurried back to Jerusalem. They searched everywhere. It took them three, count them, one, two, three days to find them. When they found Jesus, he was sitting in the temple courtyard listening to the teachers and asking them questions. What do you think? And everyone who heard Jesus speak was amazed. That's amazing. Are you amazed? I'm amazed by his understanding. I'm amazed at his answers. Amazing. Amazing. When his parents saw him sitting with the teachers, Mary said, Excuse me. What? Oh, sorry. I'm in your spot. Son, why did you disappear on us? Your father and I have been worried sick. And Jesus replied, Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? Now, no one really understood what Jesus meant by that at the time. But Mary treasured all the things that had happened in her heart. Mary and Joseph returned home with Jesus. 
and Jesus became wiser and stronger. He also became more and more pleasing to God and to people. Amazing. Amazingly. Amazing. 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 The end. Why doesn't everybody give it up for the Kids Spective Kids? So, what'd you guys think? Wow, I, I think it's cool that Jesus himself actually grew wiser. I know. Jesus showed us that searching for wisdom is important for everyone. Yeah, it's like searching for lost treasure. Yep. You can search for wisdom in the Bible or from people you trust or just like Jesus did from your leaders in church. Or from you, Kellen. You're very wise. Oh, shucks. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. So, what is wisdom? Let's find out. Reveal the question. Uh, what does it mean to be wise? Okay, uh, I guess it's different than just being smart. Like, being good at long division doesn't make me wise. Yeah, I think wisdom has more to do with learning stuff that can help you live life in the way God wants you to. Oh, 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 and I can find wisdom in my great-great-uncle's diaries? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, you might find some amazing recipe in there that will help you lead a healthier life. Like this recipe for Spazettios. Spazettios. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Talk amongst yourselves. What do you think it means to be wise? Yeah, and we'll see you next time on The, the So and So Show. show. Oh, what else get, you got in there? Oh, this one is a recipe for bacon. Bake, bake, bacon? Bacon, I think, oh, I think it's French. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this, this could be a big one. I think it's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming from this box right here. Oh, man, it's heavy. <sighs> Oh, yeah. What? What in the... What? Would anybody... Keep a bunch of gold rocks around? Makes no sense. Oh, well. Ooh. Camilla. 